The IFA in Berlin is one of the world's leading consumer electronics fairs. The expo attracts 1,500 exhibitors from across the globe to showcase the latest gadgets and product upgrades. Around 250,000 visitors turned up for the 53rd edition to view the latest developments in HD TV, tablets and cameras, along with new generation refrigerators, coffee machines and vacuum cleaners. L'uomo ragno Spider-Man, Catwoman and Batman. This year, the superheroes meet the super products. The one to watch this year is the Galaxy Gear, produced by the South Korean giant Samsung. The new smartwatch weighs just 74 grams and is powered by Google's Android operating system and designed to complement the new smartphone, Galaxy Note 3. The watch can be used to make and receive calls and informs the wearer of new email and messages. It has a camera incorporated for stills and video. LG turned on the crowd with a new OLED TV. The record-breaking screen with 4K Ultra HD display resolution continues the trend towards curved screen design. What is 4K? And why is it curved? 4K, a lot of people will say, well, what does this mean? It's just a number. But it's four times HD, full HD that's on the market today. So you see a very beautiful picture, very good contrast, very black blacks and white whites within the picture. The idea from curved actually comes from, uh, if you ever go to the cinema, the IMAX theatre, in this large screen, the curvature is uh, the same as the curvature of the eye. So it's more immersive with the picture. In the world of smartphones, Sony showcased the Xperia Z1. This is the new flagship Android device, which eclipses the Xperia Z released in March this year. Like many other upgrades, the concentration is on camera quality. The Xperia Z1 is water and dustproof. Competition between tablet manufacturers is intense. In Berlin, the trend is for big devices. Panasonic have launched what it claims is the first large tablet with 4K resolution. This is not something for the kids, but more aimed at the professional market. It displays crystal clear resolution and comes in a rugged carbon fiber case. Wacom presented another large tablet called the Wacom Cintiq Companion Hybrid that offers professionals the chance to stay productive while on the move but it's also a standard tablet. This year at the IFA in Berlin, we find the concept of the hybrid. What does it mean? Well, first of all, hybrid means two in one. So we have one device to do two different kinds of operations. In this situation, you have uh, the professional use and it's plugged in to the Mac or the PowerPC station. And if you just de-plug it like this, you get a media tablet running on an Android Jelly Bean. Making a splash this year, waterproof phones. Don't try this in your shower at home. 